Buffalo's number one for new country, 106.5 WYRK. COVID-19 has forced a lot of festivals across Western New York to either be postponed or go virtual. And that includes the Music is Art Festival happening this weekend. It is all virtual. And joining me right now, the founder of Music is Art. You know him from the Goo Goo Dolls, Robbie Takak. And Robbie, this is such a big festival, multiple stages. How's this going to transition to the virtual world? We uh, started uh, planning on this in February. And things looked a little weird in February, but so we decided to put together an event that could happen no matter what. Um, you know, all these musicians and artists, you know, we're all of a sudden sitting at home with like time and like an unbelievable and yeah, and an unbelievable amount of emotional craziness in their yeah. lives. And uh, that world did not stop uh, making things. So, so we really felt like it was important for Music as Art, this being our 18th year this year, we really felt like it was important for us to be able to you know, uh, uh, feature some of that creativity that happens here in our community during this time. So we looked into an online model and uh, slowly but surely it became uh, more and more obvious that it was going to be entirely online. So so here we are. Yeah, and it kicks off this weekend on the 12th. And, and I love the fact, because I'm looking at the website right now, you actually have it broken down to like a ton of different channels. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. There's lots of different uh, platforms that we're running on, but it's all gathered together at musicisart.org. And uh, if, if what's going on there at the moment is not floating your boat, there's 19 more channels of stuff. And uh, that is what our festival is like every year. And that's what we wanted to convey through this virtual festival was, you know, turn your head and there's something brand new there for you to see. And um, so hopefully we've achieved that. Yeah, we're super excited about it. Can't wait for the festival. It's all happening virtually this weekend. Before I let you go, you know, you talk about all this uh, pent up creativity for the artists and the musicians. I mean, obviously yourself, how you been holding up during COVID-19? And- well, we've canceled 80 shows this year already. Jeez. So it's been a, yeah, it's been a crazy year for us. Uh, you know, I guess the silver lining of the cloud was for the first time in decades, I've got, got, actually gotten to spend a summer with my family. At what point did they start driving you a little yeah. crazy? Because we all been with our loved ones. Uh, I love my wife, but every single day I'm like, you know, honey, I got to go to work. Yeah, I do have to say the homeschooling, the, 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 yeah, the homeschooling was a little challenging, I have to say. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told my son, I go, I'll help you with everything but algebra. You know, my kid's in second grade. I thought I would have it all sewn up, but apparently, <laughs> apparently second grade is a lot more advanced than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking a couple minutes awesome, to talk brother. to us. Musicisart.org. Thanks, Robbie. Appreciate it, man. Okay, brother. See you soon.